The drama continues at Fox News with yet another former Fox News employee filing a lawsuit against Roger Ailes and other executives at the company for her experience with alleged sexual assault. Now, this new lawsuit was filed just today on Monday by Julie Rajinsky, and she was a regular on the five. However, she claims in the lawsuit that after Roger Ailes made advances toward her and she rejected him, all of a sudden she was pulled out of the regular rotation for the show. So she filed the suit against Fox News, the network's co-president Bill Shine, and his former CEO Roger Ailes, who of course no longer works there. She alleges that Ailes commented on her personal life and attractiveness and insisted on a kiss hello during private meetings. When she refused his advances, she alleges that he refused to meet with her and took her out of regular rotation on Fox's The Five. Okay. So let, let me give a little bit more detail on that. So before each of these meetings he has with his female anchors, mm -hmm. Roger Ailes, who used to run Fox News, would insist on getting a hello kiss. Mm -hmm. And they said that he sat in a chair that was lower than theirs, so they would have to bend down to give him the kiss. Oh. He like it's just like low level perviness mm -hmm. that just kind of makes you shudder. Like, oh come on, you're gonna be a child. You're a man in your 70s and you're gonna, oh, I get to see your cleavage as you're kissing me. Did the male host have to also kiss you? Because like all the time they'll be like, oh, this is all over a little hello kiss. This is no big deal. Does Sean Hannity kiss you every time? You know, and by the way, let me give a little bit of, I mean, this is the most bizarre kind of credit to Sean Hannity, but mm -hmm. Bill O'Reilly says, oh, they're just coming after me and Roger Ailes, same thing. They're just coming after me for my fame and my money. But interestingly, no one's ever come after Sean Hannity on those. Mm -hmm. And he's just as famous and that's a really good point. And nearly as rich, right? And but there's no charges against Sean Hannity. Mm -hmm. Probably because Sean Hannity didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. But these are you've got now five settlements against uh, O'Reilly and six against Ailes. And those are just the settlements where Fox News goes, Whoa, okay, boy. Here you go, take the money. We don't want this any going anywhere near court. Then there is the other allegations, including this one, right. which amounted dozens of allegations against just Roger Ailes. Also, look, you also have to keep in mind that one of the women who alleged sexual harassment against Roger Ailes was Megyn Kelly. Megyn Kelly had no incentive to make the, those claims up at all. I mean, she is obviously very successful, I'm sure fabulously wealthy, and it could only hurt her to come forward and, and say that Roger Ailes did this and that. Um, but she took that risk and I'm glad that she did it because in the end, it didn't hurt, hurt her in any way. And it at least uh, added credibility to other allegations against Roger Ailes. By the way, Gretchen Carlson, on that lawsuit alone, they paid out $20 million for what Roger Ailes and the rest of Fox News did to Gretchen Carlson. It wasn't, so that she had allegations against some of the other guys, you know, with verbal harassment, etc. Ailes was trying to do the sexual harassment that was very specific, you know, sleep with me, yada, yada. But the reason they paid the $20 million settlement is because it went to the culture of cover up at Fox mm -hmm. News. So if you went to go complain about this, they'd bury it. And so, and Megyn Kelly writes about that in her book. The complaining about sexual harassment was deeply discouraged. So, if you're wondering why this woman came out today instead of what had happened, which is like the number one thing that people who do the sexual harassment say, oh, yeah, why didn't they do report it immediately, right? Because you scared the hell out of them. You scared the bejesus out of them. And people who did report it would get fired. They'd get removed from uh, on being on air, which could cost them millions of dollars. Right, and also you don't know whether or not you're the only victim. And I think a lot of times people who have been victimized by sexual harassment or something as serious as sexual assault at the workplace, feel intimidated about coming forward because they might think they're alone. They might think that no one's gonna side with them or believe them. It could destroy their careers. I totally understand why people wouldn't want to come forward. I. I Really appreciate it when people do because you don't want to embolden these individuals to continue victimizing other people. Um, but I'm glad that the truth is finally coming out about what was going on at Fox News. And I'm glad that some action's been taken. But also keep in mind that Fox News is one of the few cable news channels or news organizations, news organizations that consistently attacks women who want gender equality, right? 
And why do you think that is? Why do you think they hate gender equality so much? It's because they want to continue doing this kind of stuff to women and they want to feel like women are powerless and they can't do anything about it. Like honestly, they hate this. And so all that talk about like no, 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 we, we, we're don't care if you're a man or a woman as long as you have the right conservative ideology. Almost all these women, not Roe C, but the others were conservatives. So Gretchen Carlson, deeply conservative, but it didn't matter, that didn't protect her. Once the perverts at Fox News wanted to sleep with her, nothing protected them. It didn't matter how much they agreed. It became totally irrelevant. In the case of Roginsky here, who's now suing, she said she says that Ailes told her, look, you know, if we didn't get us in trouble, we can go out for drinks and settle this. So why don't we have drinks at my office instead? Super obvious where he's going with this, given what he's done in the past, and specifically with her. So she politely declines. Immediately taken off the five and dismissed, costing her hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of dollars. And uh, and she explained all these different games he would play with her. And he talked to her, asked her about if she's single, asked her about her personal life, who's she dating now. And then he would go on to say, and she notes without any irony, that older married conservative men are great in sexual relationships because, quote, this is according to her. They may stray, but they always come back because they're loyal. Oh Wow, how great. I mean, I can't think of how happy I would be if I had a husband who cheated on me, but always came back home. Yeah, that doesn't- But he says that as he proposes to cheat on his wife yeah. with her. Yeah. But you know what, so that's so like, you gotta be thinking that's so crazy. That can't really, could that be true? No, no, understand this, first of all, they don't see their own hypocrisy at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost everything they do is filled with hypocrisy and they're like, yeah, what, what? I'm gonna be loyal to my mistress and to my wife. Well, I don't see the point the problem is, but there's a second reason that's even more important. What he's trying to tell her with that loyalty talk is, if you're loyal to me by having a sexual relation with me, I will be loyal to you in terms of getting you a deal. That's the quid pro quo that he's offering. Corporate media is awesome. Wrong. Independent media is the way to go. Believe me, believe me. Support independent media right now. Become a Young Turks member, tytnetwork.com slash join.